just going to do an update on the bug real quick. Um, got the front end all put back together. I don't know if you can see down there. So we ended up with new shocks, uh, new steering knuckles, king pins, link pins, uh, spindles, uh, disc brake kit, um, new steering damper, new master cylinder. Um, this is just acting like a funnel. Uh, J Bugs had a good video, and I thought this was a good approach. So that's the stock brake fluid reservoir, but really it's just acting like a funnel. So that kind of works. Um, I thought it was a good solution. All new hard brake lines up here. Uh, I think that's mostly it for the front. But yeah, it went back together pretty good. Um, front wheels are out a little bit from the disc brake kit. I'm not going to put a narrow. Uh, axle on it. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather have them stick out than have a narrow axle. But I'll figure that out. Um, I could change the wheels, but we'll see. I haven't had it um, aligned yet. I haven't had an alignment done, but it, it drives straight. Uh, I did an alignment just, you know, with a string and just did the best I could uh, to set the toe. Uh, shimmed the the um, the spindles as good as I could and uh, sorry not the spindles the uh, where the link pins meet the torsion arms um, shimmed them based on the on the specs and then set the toe best I could with a string steer straight uh, no shimmy so really happy uh, really handles good took the inside out Still really impressed with how clean this car is, but there's the back without the seats in it. Uh, just vacuum it out. The interior really wasn't that old, but it looked like there was a few different kits. Some of the carpet was different. Some looked newer than the others, and the seats really were pretty dirty. The upholstery didn't seem old, but I'll probably freshen that all up. I uh, took this carpet out too. You probably can't see that. But uh, yeah, cleaned the window, gave it a bath. I think the last video I took, it hadn't been washed, but I think that it's just for a stolen paint job, honestly. I think it was painted with spray cans or Rustoleum, but they did a good job and it works for me. Cleaned up good. So I do have an issue. It handles good, but I did get stuck. Um, I think what is going on is I took the, the fuel pump out the filters would be dry but it would run if I ran fuel directly to the, the carb and also if I primed the fil the uh, pump it would run so I'd have fuel in the filters and then I wouldn't so took the fuel pump off and I think the deal is I, I think they had the wrong uh, shaft for the fuel pump based on the specs for this engine um, I think the travel was probably okay but the minimum height should be I think 8 millimeters and and this shaft was barely sticking above the flange so I ordered a matching kit so there's a new flange there's a new new shaft and um, yeah, you can see how much longer it is uh, you know there's a long and a short shaft so they st I got a kit that's just the flange, the new shaft, and then the pump as well. And again, reading the specs for this engine, I think the minimum height on the shaft above the flange should be eight millimeters. Max should be 13 or 12. The travel should be four. So I'm gonna install, yeah, there's, there's all the new stuff. I got some new hard brake line and uh, gaskets. So anyhow, I'm going to install all that, and then um, I'll just check the pressure. Uh, I might end up getting a, a um, pressure regulator. We'll see how it goes. But I'll, I'm going to install all this, and then I'll get it running, check the pressure, make, some, make sure it's within spec. But as long as I was doing that, as long as I was taking the 
fuel pump off and replacing it. I did go, but I took the tank out again, as you can see before. But I flushed the fuel line with acetone, and then it was, it got a surprising amount of gunk out of the fuel line. It was the top of the bar line. And then I blew it out. I just use this, here's my hose. So I, I probably flushed it 10 or 15 times with acetone until it ran clear. Uh, but anyhow, so I'm just cleaning the entire thing. So I new soft fuel line for up here. Uh, gas tank, I didn't have to get rust out, but I did clean it. You know, I rinsed it with gas. Um, that was kind of pricey, that thing right there. That's the fuel tap. Here's the oil fuel tap. It might have been fine, but I thought if I'm going through all this, I'm just gonna get a new tap. That was 70 bucks. I thought that was a lot. Um, yeah, there you go. New fuel hose. And then, <clears throat> yeah, I'll see you back here where the where the fuel hose comes out of the out of the tunnel. Uh, yeah, that's this thing here. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Let me get the light. I'll show you that. You see that right there? That's the fuel line coming out of the tunnel. So that's, I got a new fuel line for here, and then it goes up, and you can't really see it, but it goes it comes up behind the fan or the shroud I don't know what that is called up there but it was just running straight through the hole with no grommet on it so it was just a rubber hose running through the grommet uh, there's the hole down there you can see that so that's where the fuel line is coming to so I'll probably do something about that. I have some grommets. I'll put new hose, grommet that. And then I got Hardline. Uh, just some people concerned about fire, and I think stock, it was Hardline from the back there to the fuel pump. So I might do that. I'll probably do Hardline. Put a fuel filter in it. And I guess that's it. So I should have a completely, besides the gas tank, being old and having a little rust in it. Uh, the entire fuel system should be pretty much at least cleaned or new. And uh, yeah, I'll give it another shot. I really don't want to get stuck again. So I'll probably invest in a, uh, one of my first gauges, might be a fuel pressure gauge. Um, so I'll take care of that. I guess that's it. I guess that's the that's where I'm at right now. Uh, so I'll get it running. Feel good about that. Um, I'm not gonna mess with the engine too much. I've been reading about some dual carbs, maybe I don't know. Uh, but I'll get it running good and um, start thinking about performance. I'm not sure about the rear end. I'll probably I'm not gonna spend too much time back here. Right now, I think the brakes are good, but I do got to inspect them. So I guess when I get it running, I'll probably uh, take these drums off. And I'm not upgrading these to this, but I'll take these drums off. I'll check out the shocks. And then see if I can drive it for a little bit. Yeah, so that's it. I'll get, the, I'll get it running, take care of the fuel pump, do all that stuff. Take care of these shocks and then I don't know we'll probably be into summer at that point and uh yeah maybe mess around with the interior we'll see all right thanks for watching